Are we gonna appear to the humans? I'm not ready for that. Oh, don't worry. We only do that on special orders. But it's okay. I mean, we're here. We can still help out. We can. Yeah. We can even protect Rhoda while we're here. Yeah. Speaking of. Hey. Kia, Stratiota, Stratiota. This means he steals. He steals your basket. The basket's right there. Tia, Sostromeos. Oh, thank you so much. Oh my goodness, he was pickpocketing me. Thank you so much. Do you do you speak any Hebrew? Little bits. I'm from Gracia. You say Greece, but I am a Jew. Oh, that explains why he has a Greek accent. Well, that's all Greek to me. Well, uh, thank you so much. Oh, what what's your name? Steven. And you? I'm I'm Rhoda. Rhoda, there you Hi. are. Listen, Mr. Listen. Joseph. Yes, yes. Wait a minute. Is is this man bothering you? Him? Oh no no! This is Stephen. He was he actually saved me from a thief just now. A thief? Yes. Oh my. That that is no good. Oh no. Well, thank you very much. But now I'm going to take Rhoda back home. He is very welcome. Nice meets you, Rhoda. Nice to meet you too, Stephen. So, so why why'd you come after me? Well, I thought you might need some encouragement. To forgive Peter? Well, yes, and to remember that Jesus forgave all of us. I, Peter forgave me. Or did you forgive him for that time that he yelled at you for losing his sandals? Well, he did, yes. But, you know, there's been a lot of apologizing and forgiveness going on in that upper room. So when we confess our sins to God, He will always be faithful. He will forgive us and make us holy. Yeah, but I still don't get what the point of forgiving other people is if they're going to just turn around and do the same thing again. Well, we all need forgiveness, Rhoda. There are also people that we need to forgive. When, when God forgives us, He makes us happy. And we, we can uh, be together in a way. So you're saying we need to forgive others. People of Jerusalem, the Holy Spirit is here just like Jesus promised. Dieu soit loué! Jésus nous a promis le Saint-Esprit et il est ici! Mark, Sarah, what is going on? The Holy Spirit has come! The power Jesus promised! Hey, so, aren't you Jesus that last year? These fools, if they've seen any spirits, it was only the kind that you see in a jar. <laughs> you got that right. Only a drunkard would make those silly sounds. Oui, oui, Jean Claude. Nous ne sommes pas ivres, il est seulement 10 heures du matin. Okay, all right. This is getting kind of confusing over here. Oh, thanks for stopping that. Yeah, what was going on? Ah, um, well, you go. Okay, so it is a little bit complicated. But don't worry, she'll make it really, really simple. She's very good at this. I, I, I'll try to explain it. Yeah. What the Holy Spirit is doing is amazing. Yeah, it really is. It really is. Mm -hmm. So, this is what happened. When the believers finally were willing to, to give up all of their infighting and stop holding grudges, that then the real power of the Holy Spirit could come on them, just as Jesus had promised. And, and you know what? He also did another amazing thing. He took away their fear. And he gave them something in return. Now he gave them the ability to speak in tongues. So, wait, wait, they already speak with their tongues. No, not with their tongues, in tongues. Okay, no, no, I'll explain it to you. So basically it's like this. Now, when the disciples talk, they can communicate with people from other countries without even trying. Uh, uh, Angela, let's show them. Okay, ready? So there goes Peter. Okay, so here's Peter, and he's speaking in Hebrew, right? And there's Stephen, and we know that he really speaks Greek. Greek, because he's from Greece. Mm -hmm. But when he hears Peter speaking, even though he's speaking in Hebrew, he understands it in Greek. It's amazing. I mean, look, the pickpocket that was here before, he snuck back in. He's hey. trying to talk to that guy. But he speaks Aramaic. That's what he understands, and that's what he's hearing when he hears Peter speak. Isn't the Holy Spirit amazing? Now, now, like, here's another example. The soldiers, right? 
They speak, they speak Latin and a little Hebrew. But when he hears Peter talking, he understands him in Latin because that's the language he understands best. It's amazing. And everyone is hearing Peter preach the sermon of his life. That's what they can all hear. Oh, and look at him go. I mean, he's just preaching about Jesus, about the light of the world. And he's he's just quoting scriptures, rolling it off his tongue. He's proving Jesus fulfilled all the prophecies. He's telling everybody Jesus died for your sins. And he's not even stammering. And he's not afraid. That's right. Not useless. I didn't understand. I'm ashamed. Forgive me, God. God understands. Lots of the people are ashamed. Some of them are even running away. Yeah. But, but there's lots of them too. They're also, they, they're asking for forgiveness. They, they want to know what can they do now? Oh, and look, Peter's going to tell them. He says, repent and be baptized, every one of you, and you will receive the power of the Holy Spirit too. Everyone? Oh. Wow. Can you count them? I, I'm, I'll try to. Well, it's more than 3,000! Six, seven, oh, or no, or 3,000. That's fine. We'll go with your number. That's a better number. That's a bigger number! Okay, wait, hang on a second. We're not going to have enough time to baptize 3,000 people. I mean, look at the time! Whoa! All right, I'll tell you what. We're going to have to go to emergency baptism protocols. Through your places, everyone! We're going to have to get through this as fast as possible using a new mode I've got on this. It's called Fast Forward in 3, 2, 1. Look at him go! <laughs> well, that's the power of the Holy Woo! Spirit! That's right. I mean, Peter preached an amazing sermon, but you know, his words could not have been what broke through and the barriers that the people had in their hearts. Wait, no, no, it had to be that the Holy Spirit was speaking through him. Who the disciples go? They're baptizing as fast as they can. Wait, wait, wait stop, stop. Do the thing again. Okay, pause. What where's, where's Rhoda? Was she baptized? I don't see her oh, online. Oh, um, I was getting a little dizzy, honestly, watching all that. Uh, Tell you what, let's let's just rewind it and we'll see again. Uh, we'll do it in slow motion though, just so we don't have a big pile up. All right, so let's try slow motion, see if this works. I think we need to turn the, yes, okay, ready and slow, here we go. Yep, yeah, yeah, it's working, it's working. Okay, so the road, uh, I kind of caught a glimpse, but oh, there's just too many people here. Tell you what, I'm just gonna get them all right out of here. All right, we'll go back to fast forward and go! Go! Go on, 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 go on. And regular speed. Uh huh. Yeah, this will help. <laughs> Stephen, my new brother in Christ, you are more than welcome to stay here in my sister Marie's home. Stay as long as you need. We take care of each other like one big family in fellowship, walking in the light of God. Joseph, you're so kind and supportive. I, I'm going to call you Mr. Encouragement in Hebrew, Barnabas. How do you all like that? I like that. Uncle Barnabas. Can I call you Barney now? What? <laughs> 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 oh, well, my life changed a lot today. This, this morning I was a Greek Jew waiting for the Messiah to come. And now you are a baptized follower of Jesus, waiting for his return. And I can understand you perfectly. It's, it's all kind of hard to believe. Sometimes belief is hard. I, I didn't see you in the line for baptism today, Rhoda. Uh, were you already baptized? Uh, no. No, I am not. Why not? I'm not ready yet. Well, how, how, what do you have to do to get ready for baptism? Well, you heard Peter. He said today that you have to repent and then be baptized. Well, that's true, but repent just means to realize you're going the wrong direction and, and, and go a different direction. And that's what happened to me. I, 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 all my ideas about myself and the Messiah, they were wrong, but I changed direction today. You did. You really did. And, and that's great for you. But I, I don't have that kind of faith. And I'm afraid that my faith will fail. When I fear my faith will fail, Christ will hold me fast. But Rhoda, when Jesus was on the cross, he gave his love for us 
having faith that, that, that we would love him in return. We weren't ready either, but it didn't stop him from giving his love. When the tempter would prevail, he will hold me fast. He will hold me fast. He will hold me fast. For my Savior loves me so, he will hold me fast. How did you learn that song so fast? And how do you know so much about Jesus? You only just heard about him from today, right? And now you're preaching? It's the Holy Spirit that Peter talked about. It came upon me too. And I have this incredible good news in my heart to share with everyone. And I just have a feeling nothing could stop me now. Nothing. Well, that, that's amazing. Um, why don't we go tell everyone else then? I would love to. <laughs> this is so exciting! I know! All the disciples and the new believers are being fearless witnesses! Just like Jesus promised! I bet you even wrote it, wrote it too, too. <coughs> Maybe. But if they need to be fearless witnesses, there must be something fearful coming. I don't know if Rhoda's ready for that. Let's see. 